Morning, welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Friday morning, this very cold, uh, snowy Friday morning. I hope you're all safe and warm. Uh, but let us begin our day with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, O Lord, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all others. All my delight is upon the godly that are on the land upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let my Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hold those who hope in you, and give us your counsel so that we may know the joy of your resurrection and share the pleasures of the saints in your right hand, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, our reading today continues on Friday in Isaiah, uh, the, 30, uh, the 33rd chapter. Your eyes will see the king in his, uh, in his beauty. They will behold a land that stretches afar. Your mind will muse on the terror. Where, he, where is he who counted? Where is he who weighed the tri tribute? Where is he who counted the towers? You will see no more. The insolent people, the people of an obscure speech with, uh, which you cannot comprehend, stammering in a tongue which you cannot understand. Look upon Zion, the city of your appointed feast. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, an immovable tent, whose stakes will never be plucked up, nor will any of its uh, of its uh, cords be broken. But there the Lord is in majesty, will be with us, a place of broad rivers and streams, where no uh, galley with ours can go, nor, uh, nor stately ship can pass. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our ruler, the Lord is our King. He will save us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Revelation, the 22nd chapter. And he said to me, these words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, uh, and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets has sent an angel to show his servants what must soon take place. And behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am he who heard and saw these things and when i heard and saw them i fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed the, them to me but he said to me you must not do that i am a fellow servant with you and your brethren the prophets and with the those who keep the words of this book worship god and he said to me do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book for the time is near let the evil doer still do evil and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. I warned everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. 
If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from these words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. He who testifies to these things say, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our holy gospel today comes from St. Luke, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the time comes for Elizabeth to be delivered, and she gave birth to a son, and her neighbors and kinsfolks heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have named him Zechariah after his father, but his mother said, Not so, he shall be called John. And they said to her, None of your kindred is called by that name. And they made signs to his father, inquiring what he would ha have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they all marveled. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosened and he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbors. And all these things were talked about throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid, uh, laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, you sent your Son to free mankind from the power of death. May we who celebrate the coming of Jesus of Christ as man shall share more fully in his divine life, for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Friday morning. I hope you stay safe and warm. And have a blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.